Before the experiment starts, it is a must to have done personal protective equipment such as lab gowns, safety goggles, masks, and surgical gloves. Now let's identify the materials to be used in our experiment. First, we have our dissecting kit. I got mine from Berovan in Robinson's Bacolod. Second, we need a dissecting tray to hold our specimen. I used a cork board and covered it with baking paper to avoid any spillage to seep into the board. Third, we have a bio bag. This is where we will be disposing our wastes properly. Fourth, we need a marker pen to draw out our guides when making the incisions on the frog's skin. Fifth, we also need paper towels to aid us in cleaning our workspace. And lastly, we need our frog specimen for today's experiment. He is quite large and I identified him as a male since he croaked a lot when we caught him by the community pool. So before we head on towards dissecting our frog, let us take a look inside our dissecting kit. Here we have dissecting pins. And over here we have a magnifying glass. We also have forceps, dissecting scissors, a scalpel, a flapper, and I believe this is called a probe. So now, we are going to be pithing the frog. So let us take our specimen out of his container first. So now, I am trying to calm him down since he is not exactly behaving the way we would want him to. Now, by following the instructions, I positioned him properly so that I could locate the soft part of his skull. Now that I've found it, I positioned the probe at a 90 degree angle and inserted it in a rotational manner. Now that the frog is paralyzed, we can now pin him in a supine position onto our dissecting tray. But before dissecting him, I will be drawing incision guides on his skin. Now, using the forceps, I am lifting his skin on the bottom part of his body to make it easier to cut through. After cutting through his skin, we can now see his muscles underneath, and I will also be cutting through that.
And finally, the frog's internal organs are exposed and ready to be examined. So for now, I will be exploring and trying to identify the organs. This bluish-black round organ is the spleen. Now, I am separating the fat bodies from the frog. Next, I am cutting off the frog's liver. Here is the second lobe. And next, I will be removing the lungs. Now, I am also removing the stomach. Next, the large and small intestines. Here is the frog's heart. It's still slowly beating. This is the stomach. It began excreting some fluids when I placed it on my hand. Here are the intestines, small and large. Next, these are the lungs. They're quite small since they're deflated. And finally, the liver. The frog had two. So I guess everything's been covered? This concludes our frog dissection activity then. Thank you!